Facts. Hey gang, I'm Dr. Who. This is Accounting is a Joke, where accounting makes sense so you can make dollars. Today I'm gonna introduce you to financial analysis of the balance sheet with the debt ratio. So if you're unfamiliar to what a balance sheet is, don't fret gang, I dropped the link to a video that'll get you up to speed in no time. So with that being said, let's get it. All right, so it says John MD reported the following trial balances as of September 30th, 2024. We have a trial balance with some information and they say select the debt ratio formula, first line and calculate the ratio. All right, gang, so, one of the most critical things in knowing how to chase the bag through accounting is by being able to have the power to interpret or analyze how a company is doing. And that comes from financial analysis. So we know the second part of the accounting process deals with reporting. And for financial accounting, that's the aspect in which the public is able to make decisions. So those financial statements will give us certain clues on how well the company is doing. One of the particular things that the financial statement, the balance sheet can reveal is the company's level of solvency. And when we say solvency, we're talking about debt liabilities. And so with this particular problem, they want us to utilize the debt ratio. So what does the debt ratio do? It lets us know in layman's terms, how much debt is on the books relative to the assets that the company owns. Remember gang, there's always two ways to acquire assets, either paying cash or borrowing money. Now, not all debt is bad debt, which we'll talk about in a later video, but there should be a certain healthy amount of debt that's on the books that will allow you to purchase assets. Too much debt will give the company trouble being able to repay it back in the future, plus the interest that it accumulates on. And so the debt ratio allows us to know what percentage of these particular assets that we have was acquired by debt. So looking at this trial balance, how will we be able to calculate the debt ratio? First, we have to identify what are the total assets on the book. Then we have to identify the total liabilities. So looking at the trial balance, we could go through each one of these accounts and we know what our assets gain. We know cash is an asset, accounts receivable is an asset, office supplies is an asset, land is an asset, building is an asset, and office equipment are all assets for this particular company. Now, the next thing we would have to do is identify the debt, the liabilities. Now, I told you guys in earlier videos, 90% of those liabilities are gonna have a last name payable. And based on this particular trial balance, we see that we have two accounts that have a payable. But guess what? That other 10% are sometimes considered unearned revenues. So as you can see, we have accounts payable of 1,600. We have utilities payable of 800. We also have an unearned revenue. Now what's an unearned revenue, gang? An unearned revenue is a liability that is created whenever a customer gives the company money in advance for a service to be provided which means that the service is owed to the customer, thus creating a liability. Therefore, this unearned revenue is a liability as well. And we also have a notes payable. So, so far we have four accounts, liability accounts on the books. Therefore, we calculate our debt ratio by taking our total liabilities and dividing them into our total assets. So if we add up our total four liability accounts, we should get a balance of $96,195. If we were to add up all of our total assets, we should get a value of $174,900. If we divide those liabilities into our total assets, we should get a debt ratio of 0.55 or 55%. So how do we interpret this? Based on our total assets and liabilities of this particular company, 55% of our assets was purchased through debt. Now, is that healthy or not? Well, think about it. For every $1 we purchase an asset, we borrow 55 cents of it. So 
how do we know if this is healthy or not? Well, it actually depends on what type of industry this company is actually competing in because certain industries will have certain different requirements of debt that is needed to operate and grow the business. So we would have to compare this to the industry that the company is in and its peers. But from a quick eyeball perspective, 55% isn't that bad. So all I wanted to do game with this one is give you a brief introduction to how to interpret the financial statements and the accounting information. And in this time we use the debt ratio, but there are several other ratios that could unlock different clues about the success of a company that we'll talk about in the future. Hopefully this video made sense. And if so, please like, subscribe, and share the channel with your friends so they can chase the bag as well. Again, I'm Dr. Who, and it's my humble pleasure to have you guys share some time with me. I'll see you soon. Thanks.